way to actually um, download um, all the information from your iPhone. It could be an iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, whatever iTunes need. First of all, you're going to go ahead and actually open iTunes. Either it's your Macintosh or your Windows computer. So you're going to click under the iTunes logo. Okay. And you're going to open this, right? So um, wherever you left off, it should be there. I don't know, recently added or artist, whatever. So um, so once you're in there, okay, you're, you're in iTunes, you're going to be like wondering, okay, I bought a new phone. I have an iPhone 6 and or 6s and i am ready to get the iphone 7. so what do you need to do all you need to do is just um back up your phone if you have a 16 gigabyte iphone i recommend you to back up your iphone information um, this includes your pictures your contacts your notes everything everything that is inside of your phone and if you have an iPhone that is 16 gigabytes and you're grading up to 64 gigabytes on iPhone 7, I strongly recommend you to save all your information to your to your iPhone, okay? To your iTunes, I mean. So first of all, uh, you open iTunes and then you connect the USB charger to your iPhone okay and then this should appear you can see a little a little window a little a little logo of the iPhone should come out so you don't know what's going on um, but you do know that you actually need that information right um, so what you're gonna do you're gonna click here okay in the little iPhone thing and then once you're in here once you're in here, you're gonna go ahead and actually click to summary. Once you're in summary, okay, you're gonna go to backup phone. So this should be configured. As you can see, um, the capacity, right? And the iOS is here. Um, also the serial number or whatever. Um, if you need that information, I suggest that you go and click into this computer. So once you click in this computer, you're going to actually uh, select the options of what you want to send. So in this case, I just have sync only check songs and videos. So that's pretty much it. Um, and uh, you're going to put backup now. So once you're in here, you're going to click backup now. Okay, and then on the top, uh, it should say backing up nest, uh, your iPhone or whatever. So um, it should be backing up all the information that is stored in your phone. It's going to back up your applications. It's going to back up your music. It's going to back up your movies, if you have movies. It's going to back up your TV shows. It's going to back up your podcasts, your books. Um, ringtone, photos, and other information, okay, like contacts and calendars. So you have to wait until it's backed up, okay? And once it's backed up, you can actually erase your phone, and you can actually, uh, you can, if you're looking for another phone, like the, the iPhone 7, you can actually transfer all that information to that phone and where you're gonna go so once you're done with the with a transfer you're gonna you're gonna put your new phone okay and you're gonna click restore backup so you're gonna click on restore backup if you're going to actually back up, uh, restore your old phone memory or information to your new phone and that should be it so you just let this load and you let this finish and that should be done so let's go ahead and wait all right 
uh, go ahead and wait. I will not make you guys wait. And it should be working in a moment. And we'll have the, the little bar uh, done. So this is how you can see um, it's backing up. It should say back up, backing up uh, whatever iPhone. Once you're done with it, <clears throat> once you're done with it, that should be it. There should be no other problems whatsoever. It should be quick and easy. It's not. It's not really. Mm, it's not hard. It's not difficult. Um, it's pretty simple, to be honest, and it's very practical. So once you're done with it, oh, um, it should appear on your phone. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was like a little thingy going in circles. So once it's done, all you can do is just click here, and that's it. Your phone memory or information is being backed up to your computer, and you don't have to worry about anything else. If your phone gets lost or stolen, and you buy a new iPhone, you can actually locate your I iPhone okay, in the iCloud, you go to iCloud.com. If you lose it or if you if it's stolen or whatever, you go into iCloud and then you sign in to your iCloud. So you put your Apple ID, which is whatever Apple ID you have, right? At uh, Live.com or uh, I don't know, uh, EasyWeb.jp for Japanese. Mm, what else? Uh, hotmail at hotmail, maybe, dot com, dot mx for Mexico. Any other way or any uh, information you need, you can do that and then you can actually transfer that to your password. Um, you can actually do that and then put your password and then you can click keep 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 sign in and then you can press uh, enter and they should look for your phone and it should work. Um, but all the information that you have on your phone, music, pictures, movies, uh, anything, notes, um, passwords, everything as the way it was set up, it should work. It should actually restore your phone back to it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you, bye.